coming to you with a famous 2020 gun season. Out here in my tripod stand, I'm hunting private for this first weekend, opening weekend. Got a lot of nice bucks running around. We got on camera. We've had guys see some on the foot during archery season. Um, but it's we're about a half an hour in now, and I've already had some excitement. And for the first time in my life, I did not shoot at an opportunity. That was pretty odd. Uh, what's the right word for that? Pretty nerve, not nerve wracking, but a lot of self control. Because I like shooting deer. I really like this setup. I mean, it is definitely a lot better year this year than last year. Last year, our property was all flooded out. This year there is a little bit of water, but nothing compared to what it was mm -hmm. last year. And there are just so many new trails running all through here. So, we're optimistic. Uh, guys are texting me already. Hey, okay. can't complain. It's opening morning in the woods. Already seen deer. Just looking for some headgear on them. You know, this, the best bait is a doe that's hot. Deer are still running around and hot up here. So I guess that's what I'm kind of banking on. That one was hot. Draw went in. Because if a buck follows that same path, he's in for a world of hurt. So, Alright guys, well, we'll see what happens. Talk to you later. Sounds like Bud is getting on some activity this morning. Sounds like he saw four does and a buck. Sounds like he passed on all of them. At least he's seen activity. I'm not sure if Andy has seen anything yet or what the rest of his crew has seen this morning. I was supposed to go up to northeastern Wisconsin to hunt a farm, but I uh, had some coronavirus issues come up within the family here, so won't be doing that. So my game plan is just... I don't have a game plan. I'm gonna drive around, see what properties are, are being hunted and hopefully uh, find a small patch of timber or a small marsh area that's not being hunted and uh, try and hunt that this uh, midday and afternoon. We're gonna have a good time no matter what. A little deeper than we thought. Oh, way deeper than I thought. Oh, There's number five for the day. This one might be the same one I already saw. Two of them kind of went walking in that direction. How do you guys count your deer? Is that every wild time? It's been about half an hour since I've seen these guys. That could be a different one. And again, still another doe. Here we go guys, first headgear. Some encounter. I'm watching all these doors today. I'm, I'm really getting itchy to let the A bolt work. But I don't know if this is blind or what, but I've literally had deer 360 degrees around me. Man, it's a nice day in the woods today. I don't think I've ever seen this many deer. Little in an all day set. I've only been here for three and a half hours, and I don't even know how many deer I've seen. Probably at least at least ten now. Now with that one, and one guy in the group, he got two shots off. I don't know how big. Andy said he's right after the shot. He saw a deer running away. 
So if, if that was the case, most likely it, it wasn't a it wasn't a good hit. I got another another guy in the group. He's sitting a little bit more of a clearing. I think he's he's seen like 15 or 16 deer now. Everything's lining up for us. We just gotta just gotta find the right deer in here. About five doors, guys. Coming right down the pipe. Well guys, you get an opportunity like that, you just kind of say screw it. <laughs> and I got me some heart, maybe. And I got me some tenderloin. And I got me some burger. I really wanted a buck, but... Yeah. That was too much. <laughs> Guys, here's buck number two. Mm -hmm. oh, that branch is the one to focus off. It's a little, it's a little six pointer. Looks like a big fork, but he's actually got a little browse. Awesome. Absolutely awesome day. All right, guys, so I just got out of the stand here. Ended up seeing probably three more does in that last hour. You know, no bucks, so had to pass on everything. Couldn't be more thankful for this doe here. It would give us plenty of meals for the next year. Definitely gonna appreciate everything she's gonna give me. Couldn't ask for more. Definitely a, it was an unbelievable opening day for me. Just the amount of deer movement I saw. I, I've never sat on the stand and seen that many deer. I know there's a lot of guys that, you know, they go out and they see that many deer, but for me, I've just, I'm never that lucky. So I couldn't be more thankful for getting this one and just the amount of stuff I saw today. Ended up seeing two bucks. And it was just, just an unbelievable day for me. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. But yeah, I hope everybody else has success so far. But here's the rest of the season and hopefully some a little bit more success comes. Talk to you guys later. Thanks. All right guys, so a little change of plans. We're not gonna run out and grab mine right away. I told you about Matt shooting at that one buck. Well, it turns out he connected and now it's way in the back and the trail's flooded so there's no four-wheeler. So we're grabbing the sled and me and Andy and Ryan are gonna hike back there and meet him and we're gonna be dragging out a buck. All right guys, day two here. We're being day two, there's still a lot of shooting going on, which is a little different than years past. Deer definitely must still be moving pretty good yet. A lot of times you get to that second day, the movement's all kind of jacked up. 
but I already seen I already seen seven of the three does cut across the marsh way out there. And I had a doe fawn, buck fawn, and then a six point cut down probably twenty yards in front of me here. I turned the GoPro on, so I'm hoping I got a little bit of footage there. This is a big long finger. There's hardwoods behind me. And this finger just kind of wraps all the way around in here. And then there's a marsh on the other side of the finger that way. And on the north side. And then kind of there's a little bit of a marsh right in front of me here. But then deer come off that finger. They just like to run it. Yeah, so far this morning, Scott's got a doe down. Ryan's got a doe down. I don't know exactly how many deer they have been seeing or not. So yeah, as far as our group now, it's we're four for five. Guys getting deer. Well, yeah. So here's the second day. I'm gonna sit here and see what happens. So this is the last hour and a half opening weekend. After this, I'll be taking a few days off, rest up, regroup, gotta go back to work. I'll be back out on Thursday. Sounds like Friday we're gonna jump around a bunch of public spots up north. We're gonna do some wind bumping and stuff like that. And then on Saturday, there's a chunk I wanna check out where we never actually bow hunted it, but I had trail camera in there, and I got a lot of good pictures of bucks during the rut in there. And we mapped out a track. It's a, I think it's like a four mile walk. We're thinking about we might still hunt that on Saturday. But yeah, this will probably be the the close for opening weekend video, and best opening weekend I've ever had as far as action. Man, I saw a lot of deer this weekend. And so yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Got any questions or comments, leave them below. On uh, to the next week. We're uh, up on public land, the land of no deer, according to everybody. And we're just gonna be bouncing around, pushing a bunch of little spots and trying to make something happen. Get a little aggressive for the second weekend and have some fun. But here, our first spot here, what we got, we got an egg field on that side. And we got a lake on this side. And there's a main road over there. And it actually comes into a clear cut that we didn't know about. So it's actually setting up perfect for just two guys. I'm gonna post up here on this end. Eric's gonna walk down and he's gonna push this little funnel out to this clearing. And then Eric's gonna jump over there, post up. I'm gonna walk down and push that side. It's probably between this road and then it's just a perfect blocker. These deer can't scoot out the sides on us. So we're going to try to make something happen here. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Let's do it. Check it out, guys. First buck on the ground. That would have been a f***ing brute. We're on our second slash third property here. I don't know if you can count that first one as one or two. This here is a real thin, long chunk of public creek bottom and it looks like the pressure is a lot higher here judging from the tire marks in the parking lot with the sign in here freaking it's killer we're definitely gonna be coming back in here and scouting it this big old rub on this tree this is actually probably the fifth rub you can actually look up there see another one I'm gonna go check that one out another chunk of public find some good sign you can see there's a 
couple of rubs over there. We just got this, got this whole creek behind this tore up. His bud and I are finally in the ball game here. We uh, decided to check out a new property, kind of what we've been doing today. Me and Bud were walking a ridge top and jumped two does. Just parked the truck and jumped a couple more. I'm not sure what our game plan is yet, but we're gonna try try and get on these does here. And... All right, guys, me and Bud talked about it. Bud's gonna walk the CRP. I'm gonna walk in the timber where we think the does had gone. And we're gonna try and bump them to the open field where Bud's gonna be parallel with me. Morning guys, we're on the second Saturday of gun season here in Wisconsin. Bud uh, planned a route, four and a half, five mile route here. Parked his truck at one end, parked my truck at the other. We're just gonna cruise some transitions and hopefully come across hot sign or some deer to go after. Beautiful morning. If we have some action, we'll bring it to you. Guys, a little midday update here. Me and Eric are a little, a little over halfway, I believe, on our walk. We finally got to a ridge system in the middle of the property, and our sign has definitely picked up a lot. This ridge system is just lights out, especially for the rut. Scrape, 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 scrape. and then in between all these scrapes. We're finding bedding areas. So I'm not exactly sure how to attack it, just because there's so much, but it's definitely a hot area. We got Eric. Oh, just that there was a bunch of doe beds and maybe some buck beds down in that swamp. Well, we should have brought the shotgun because I spooked two more grouse that would have been an easy shot, so. <laughs> how many grouse could we have killed today? Four. Four. I'm prepared. That's what happens. Bring the rifle, you'll see small game. Bring the shotgun, you'll see deer. Did you see one? You take off. Is either that or a Sasquatch? How far? It was a good. this way to the right bud all right guys me and bud were just walking still scouting this is what exactly what we wanted to have play out we just put enough miles on today and we get an opportunity all right bud what happened yeah, we dropped down in the cedar thicket and i saw a flash run i couldn't find it in the scope and then we're sitting there and Pretty soon we see more movement. And it, it was a it was a farther shot, but I had a shot at a deer down here. I knew it was a good sized deer. Looked like I saw it had a, a smaller rack on it. So I took two shots and we got down here where it was. And we're just scouring back and forth. We're trying to find track, hair, blood. 
Do you just see one deer or multiple deer? I don't know if the first one was this one or not, but it could be possibly three deer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know if they were bedded or we don't know. <laughs> we just figured if we put on enough miles today, we we get an opportunity. Probably saw some deer. We're like a half mile from the truck. <laughs> yeah, out of we put on about five and a half today. And that's all that's all we asked for today was get some scouting in and get an opportunity. It was a tough shot. But uh we're gonna have to put this one in, in the memory bank if we can get a group of guys together to get out here next year because definitely uh we definitely found a good couple spots that we can push with a couple guys. Yeah. Alright, yeah. We'll give you a look of what it looks like. Just kind of a cedar bottom, cedar creek bottom. Cool.